Hello guys, this is message from Greg in the future. It does get better. The week of eternal despair will eventually end and you'll find yourself in France. Ta-da! Good morning and welcome to the worst week of my life. <laughs> No, I'm not sure it's gonna be, but uh, right now I am in the process of finishing my master's thesis. And the thing is, I'm leaving for France this Sunday. And uh, I really want to be as done as possible before departure. I don't have that much time left to finish. Actually, my deadline is much later than, than Sunday, but um, I have been awarded this scholarship, you see, so I'm expected to start researching that's very great don't get me wrong but still it's i don't have as much time as i thought i would have i'm not going to talk too much about what my thesis is about right now that'll be a story for a later a later time but uh, this is uh, my video diary your little looking glass into my stressful periods in the last days of my master thesis I think I have most of the theory down and uh, the supercomputer at the university is working on the last results. So what I need to do is put together the results, make some na nice figures, write an introduction and uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. I don't think I'll film too much at the university uh, because I want to focus on working, but as I'll be walking or cycling to uni every day, I think I'll film these little updates and we'll see how it goes. Welcome to another day in Greg's never-ending week of despair. This telepsychotherapy thing was a great idea. Sarcasm. Yesterday was all in all a pretty good day. I think I got home around uh, nine o'clock in the evening. So me and my partner in uh, despair has built two modules for Python. One of them models different quantum systems and the other is uh, performing the time-dependent uh, stuff, which is our focus area. So yesterday I focused on benchmarking these, uh, these codes, these programs, against what already exists regarding time-dependent studies in the scientific literature. And it went great! Or I'd, I have actually already computed these, uh, these benchmarks, but it was not until yesterday that I actually put them into my thesis and made figures and made it pretty, yeah. Speaking of pretty, look at this area, all the flowers. So I managed to uh, reproduce the instantaneous uh, dipole of the hydrogen, hydrogen molecule from Lee and friends. I managed to reproduce the time-dependent ground state probability of a quantum dot from Sangelini. And friends, actually, I think he's German, not, not Italian. And I managed to produce the emission spectrum of uh, helium made by uh, Pedersen and Kvall. And I also managed to, at least qualitatively, reproduce an ionization of uh, beryllium. So that was, that was kind of cool. And what most of these studies involve is uh, shooting or simulating an oscillating field. So you can think of it as, uh, as an approximation of a laser and you blast your system with it and then stuff happens. So all in all, pretty good day. Today I will focus on the time development of quantum dots. That's actually our main area. I have also here, I have produced most of the data. I just need to put them into nice figures. Uh, there are still two of my larger simulations. They are still running on the, on the computing cluster on the university. And one of them had slowed down a bit yesterday. So I'm hoping that won't be too much of a problem. This usually happens when our uh, ODE solver, differential equation solver, 
has problems converging for every time step. So I need to check that out, but hopefully it'll be okay. Onwards to the university. Check out this, guys. New offices. <sighs> I have a TV now. Somewhat severely exhausted. Can you tell? Okay. Good night! Good morning! Another day in Master Gregory's week of despair. I was out of coffee this morning, so I had to drink instant coffee. Oh all the hardship I have to endure. Yesterday I found to be less productive than the day before. I did not reach all my goals, but I think that's uh, all right because I managed to do some other things. One of my supervisors had just finished uh, reading through a few chapters that I gave him a couple of days ago. So I, I implemented some of his suggestions. So that was good. Right now I'm struggling a bit with uh, the confidence behind my work. I really feel like everything I write is garbage. And I think that is a common feeling to have, or I hope it is, that this is some kind of major imposter syndrome. And I, I really feel the pressure uh, from, uh, well, my earlier peers, the people that have been in this uh, computational science program before, because they usually get very, very good grades on their final thesis. Anything but an A is a fail, really, or, well, it isn't, but you're kind of expected to do well. And I can see why, because there are not that many people left after you start in the undergraduate program at the University of Oslo. So there are probably a couple of hundred that begin. And then at the end, five years later, there's maybe, I don't know, tens, like 30 or so that get the master's degree and this kind of thing. I don't have any precise statistics, but uh, so only the very best are left. So yeah, a lot of pressure. So today I think I have a nice structure now. I've written something every, everywhere in my thesis, except for the introduction. I need a couple of pages of uh, a conclusion as well. So I have uh, an introductory quantum mechanics chapter, a second quantization cap chapter. I have three chapters on different approximative, approximative many-body methods. And I have uh, two chapters describing the implementation, the code we've written together, me and my partner in this project. I have two chapters with results as well. One benchmark chapter and one generally about quantum dots, which has been my main focus. Yeah, now I'll extend the last result chapter. I need to read through everything. There's still a lot to do, I think. To the university. Woo. Hey guys, Greg here at the, at the university. It's. Uh, around six o'clock in the evening sun's still up that's how it is in norway uh, i haven't made that much pro progress today because i had to compute some more results but i've deleted snag here so if you look at my screen here you see that they're all this is the queue the queuing system and they're all the same name so uh i know who this is larissa she's russian of all things and um, yeah, she has hopped the entire computing cluster. So I have no idea when my jobs will, uh, will start. Good thing is, got some more feedback from my supervisors, spelling errors. At least I have something to do while I wait for my jobs to start. And welcome to yet another fabulous day in Greg's everlasting week of despair, which I am, have come to realize will eventually end. The stress is mounting, guys. Yesterday, I didn't really do as much as I, I planned. I decided to 
uh, run some more simulations and ran into a little snag with uh, the Russians hawking the entire uh, computing cluster. But so I, I hope the simulations are done now. I think they will yield some pretty interesting results because I've been trying to study how responsive a quantum dot when you shoot it with a laser that's that's what i'm simulating uh, how responsive they get when the frequency of the laser or the the wavelength of the light of the laser gets close to the oscillator frequency in the dots the pre preliminary results were quite cool yesterday i also had a very nice meeting with my main supervisor professor morton He's a theoretical nuclear physicist. And after meeting with him, I always feel invigorated with a new sense of purpose in life. Quite, uh, quite astonishing. Today, I hope that my simulations are done and I will continue uh, working on the main results chapter. Hopefully, I'll get a bit further than yesterday. So, to the university. Oh, wait, I'm already here. <laughs> I've hit a new low. Today has been an uphill battle. I think that I've just proven that pulling 12 hour days in front of a computer screen is not sustainable. So right now I'm going to the grocery store and find something to eat and then I think I'm headed home, which I think is all right because now I'm waiting for some simulations to finish on the supercomputer and then yeah, a bit of rest will do will do me good i think and then uh, i'll hit it hard again tomorrow good morning guys or it's not really morning it's in the afternoon i had to sleep woke up early as usual this morning with a splitting headache so I decided to sleep in for a bit and I'm better. Hooray! Anyways, it is a new day in Greg's everlasting week of despair and the despair of said week seems to be transversing all space and time right now. That's a vast exaggeration of course. You have to put things into perspective. At least I'm not starving and poor and I don't have super aids or whatever the kids get these days. My goal of this week has been to finish as much of my thesis as possible. My page count is not, has not been going up for the past three days and that probably means that I've reached some sort of convergence. And that's good, all in all. There's, I feel like there's still a lot of work to be done though. There's at least a, uh, like a, first, a first version that my supervisors can read through while I'm away. And I think I'm there soon. There's, there's some bits of the theory that I know that I need to go through and I'm still waiting for some results and I need to put them into the thesis. But all in all, not too shabby. So today I will work through the last bit of my perturbation theory chapter and I'll check my, uh, my simulations on the supercomputer to see how they are doing. And I'll probably be putting some of that in. I think some of it will be done now. Hopefully the results turn out nice. Just not, nothing, nothing beats the feeling of uh, waking up to, oh, finally my results are in. And then, ah, I did something wrong and the entire program collapsed. Hooray. I need to start it over. That happened uh, with me a while ago for a simulation that needed to run for eight days. So, hooray. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. to the very last week, no, sorry, the very last day in the week of despair. I talked to my supervisor again yesterday, showed him my new result, it turned out great, it's really cool, let me explain it to you. So what I did was that in the quantum dot, you have the confining potential in the system uh, is made of, of, of some frequency. I, I think you know this if you've done any physics at all. And it so happens that it's much easier to excite the system if you act on it with a an oscillating field which is of the same frequency at 
as the system. And I managed to show this, that if, if you pick uh, a frequency that is very far from the resonant frequency, you, nothing really happens. It falls back into the ground state after you turn off this, uh, this uh, laser simulation. So they're really cool. So, uh, and I did this simulation for all kinds of, uh, of frequencies. And uh, uh, the results are just as expected. If you, when you get closer and closer to the resonant frequency, you will excite the system even after the laser is turned off. So that's cool. Now I am going back to uni one last time before leaving very early tomorrow morning. Ready for the final push, I hope. And then when I come back after a nice vacation, I am rejuvenated and ready to look at my work with, uh, with a fresh set of eyes or whatever you say in English. I know English as well actually and then i'll hand the thing in as soon as possible let's go i'm on my way home to start packing this is how all the cool kids wear their hats by the way <laughs> of Greg's week of everlasting despair, PewDiePie, 100 million subscribers! <laughs> and we're just about to leave to France as well. Joy! <laughs>